Welcome to my YouTube channel everyone, today we're going to review a PS1 game called Kula World, uh, also known as Roll Away in the US and Kula Quest in Japan. Uh, this game was released in 1998 by Game Design Sweden AB, and uh, the first time that I discovered this game uh, was back in 1998 actually, uh, on a demo disc that I had borrowed from a friend. And I gotta say, I really liked this game uh, right away. Uh, because I thought it was something really special. I had never seen anything like it before, you know, this whole anti-gravity gameplay mechanics uh, was something really unique. Uh, and of course, you know, the music and the artistic uh, direction that they were going for, I thought it was something really special. Of course, we had, you know, the Mario Galaxy games on the Nintendo Wii console later on, but this whole anti-gravity mechanics gameplay, you know, uh, really started with Kula World, I think. Unfortunately, you know, I never had the chance to play the full version of this game uh, up until recently. Uh, the physical copy is quite pricey nowadays, so I wasn't willing to give that much money for it. So uh, I got it, on, like, you know, on the digital version from uh, PSN uh, on my PlayStation 3 console. So now that I've played the full version of Kula World, uh, I realized how amazing this game was for back in the days, you know. Uh, the level design is really rich and visually really uh, inspirational, you know, like there's like different worlds uh, like uh, with different themes. There's like this forest world, uh, ice uh, inspired uh, world, uh, and then there's like this whole Aztec and Egyptian um, design, you know, incorporated uh, in the levels. So like visually it's quite rich, you know, it's a very uh, colorful game, very vibrant, you know, very psychedelic. Uh, very much like, uh, I would say, the Crash Bandicoot games uh, or maybe the Pantemonium games. And I really like the music in this game. Uh, it's like this classic 5th gen video game music uh, with a lot of tribal and drum and bass elements to it. Um, there's like a lot of electronic uh, sounds. Um, it's very much like, uh, again, um, like the music from the Pandemonium games or the Wipeout games or if you remember uh, the music from uh, the demo discs menus, you know. So uh, the whole presentation is, I think, really rich uh, and with a lot of personality. As you can see, Kula World is a 3D platform puzzle game uh, where you basically control a ball that you have to navigate through different obstacles to get uh, all the keys to unlock the exits that will take you to the next level. Uh, and you need to keep your score high and you do that by collecting items like coins, uh, gems, uh, fruits or even euphoria pills. If you manage to get 5 fruits, uh, that will take you to the bonus level where you can increase your score even uh, more. And trust me, you need to keep your score high because uh, that will uh, give you more continues, meaning like uh, you will be allowed to have more attempts uh, to try to uh, pass the levels, you know, in case you fail. Uh, because like once the score goes to zero, that's uh, gonna be game over. So there is like 150 main levels uh, that you can play, but you also get to play uh, these bonus levels. Um, there's also like some hidden levels that you can access through cheat codes. And uh, at the end of the game, you also unlock the final, which is uh, some extra levels. So um, you have like 200 levels in total, which means this game is uh, quite large. You know, it took me a couple of weeks to finish it. Uh, there was like a lot of uh, hours of gameplay. Some of the things that uh, make the gameplay quite interesting, uh, well, at least for me, is uh, the variety of all these obstacles, you know, and challenges that you have within the levels. Like you have the spikes coming out, you know, the laser beams, um, the teleporting devices, all of that stuff bring great variety to the gameplay and it doesn't feel repetitive. Another Another thing that I want to add, you know, regarding the gameplay is that Kula World has very tight and responsive controls, which I think is very important, you know, uh, for a game with platforming elements. Like, I never failed to beat the level, you know, because the controls were bad, you know, or the camera angle was weird or whatever. So now let's talk about some of the things that I didn't really enjoy while playing uh, Kula World. And some of these things is basically the short amount of time that you get uh, in order to beat the levels, you know. Some levels are quite big, you know, and they require a lot of exploration, a lot of thinking, you know, before you even come up with a way to uh, solve the puzzle, you know, and beat the level, you know. But the time is unfortunately too short. And of course, you know, there's like this hourglass item that you can get, you know, to reverse the time, but you have to be careful um, when you take that item, you know, because if you take it too soon, you know, then uh, your time is gonna be even shorter, basically, you know. And also, um, 
while uh, trying to increase your score, you know, and you try to get all these uh, ecstasy pills, you know, they make the time uh, run even faster. And you know, like uh, a lot of times, you know, uh, the hourglass item might be like too far from where you are in the level. Uh, and there's like uh, there's just not enough time to get there, you know, to reverse the time and then you basically lose, you know, so that was like something uh, very stressful. Uh, I think they should have added uh, a bit more time at least uh, to the levels like that are larger, you know, and require a lot of more like exploration. Another thing that I didn't like in this game is the saving system. Um, basically, you can only save the game during certain checkpoints. Uh, meaning like you have to pass five levels, you know, before you are able to save the game. Uh, that means if you die somewhere in the middle, you have to replay all the previous levels, you know, from the last checkpoint. Um, which uh, can be quite annoying, you know, and uh, spoil the experience a little bit. Uh, I think it would have been a lot more helpful and would improve the experience if the game would allow you to save uh, every um, after each level. So yeah, these are like the two things that I didn't really like in this game. Uh, you know, the time limits and the saving system. Uh, but overall, you know, I can't complain. Um, the game is really, really good. So after playing Kula World, uh, you know, like I was curious to see if there were like any sequels or any games like similar to it. And it turns out that the same guy who designed Kula World also designed uh, Puzzle Dimension. Uh, so like I went to the PSN store and downloaded the game for my PS3 uh, for something like uh, one pound. It was quite cheap. Uh, but uh, after playing Puzzle Dimension, you know, um, I realized like after a few levels like how uh, it lacked, you know, personality. You know, uh, I mean on the surface it looks like a cooler world, right? But in reality uh, it doesn't have that edgy element, you know, that Cooler World had uh, and has, you know, even for today's standards. And you know, like the music in Puzzle Dimension uh, is one of the worst music I've ever heard in video games. They try to sound like uh, that 8-bit kind of uh, music, you know, but for me it's just not working, you know, and the whole game is like very uninspiring, you know, and uh, it's not as edgy, you know, and visually rich, you know, as Cooler World. So anyway, guys, this was my review on Cooler world. Uh, it's a game that really managed to impress me back in the 90s uh, with its mesmerizing visuals and original gameplay ideas, you know. Uh, I've played the hell out of that demo, you know, back in the 90s and I really enjoyed playing the full version today. I think it's a great game, you know, and has that edgy 90s vibe to it, you know, that really hits the nostalgia G-spot from me. So let me know if your memories of playing this game, uh, how would you compare it to Puzzle Dimension and until next time.